Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I got this awesome comment from Revocate Aminos asking if I could do a, a video on Houston, Texas, specifically these area codes. Of course I can. Guys, if you want me to make a video about a city that you you live in or you want to learn more about, please comment below. doesn't matter if it's in the United States or anywhere in the world. I will jump in and do the research. I love doing this stuff and hopefully you like hearing me talk. So let's go ahead and jump into the zip codes right here. Let's pick out uh, seven here. Let's pick out the middle one. Now check this out. Here we are in Houston, Texas and we're looking at this um, zip code right here. Now, if I have it set to more than 90 days on Zillow, the reason is, is because I'm really trying to outline the homes that have been sitting on the market the longest. Now, if anybody knows anything about Houston, I will tell you that this part out here, okay, so you have these rings right here. Um, anything on the northwest is going to be the more expensive areas and anything closer to this middle section, the downtown, where all the basically where all the highways uh, meet is going to be the most expensive area. Now you can eventually you know go into this area and it's very very affordable. As you can see, the rings only get bigger, right? You can see these rings, these highways. So that one of the reasons why Houston is so affordable is because they have all this land to expand, right? So the farther that you go from the city center the more you know cheaper it gets but the houses are just as nice and believe it or not you know the way that work is going you know companies sometimes will you know create you know have offices way out here so you don't always have to be in the city center but you know with with work from home you know a lot of people can maybe work live out here buy a nice house and then commute to work but anyways we are going to focus on this area code and just i'm telling you just by hovering around it i could tell you this is somewhat an expensive zip code now let's see if we see some price cuts over here here we have this one is actually kind of nice this looks like a condo uh it's a townhouse it's twenty two uh, thousand square foot you know what everything in texas is bigger you know this condo in in something comparable you know, in Orange County, it would be like in uh, in California would be like, I don't know, 1400 square foot for basically the same price. But in, you know, not in Houston, in Houston, you get everything's over 2000 square foot in Houston, practically, it almost feels like that. But here we have 580. So they shaved off 20,000. So they had it at 600,000. Maybe it wasn't selling, they shaved off 20,000. Are they motivated? I would say that they seem pretty motivated. That is a nice price drop. If you love this house and you wanted to make an offer, you know, wow, it does have a two car garage. I would say, you know, see if they shave off, uh, you know, offer 550, see if they come down $30,000, see how motivated they are, or maybe offer less and see where you end up, right? I mean, this is a negotiation. I can tell you right off the bat, this house is definitely moving ready. I could just tell by the floors. I'll tell you something that I don't like. I've lived in a property like this where basically, well, you're going through the side. I don't mind that that much, but right when you come in, you, there's stairs, right? So, you know, one one of these doors probably goes to the garage, probably this one, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's probably this one because it has a lock. This is probably a closet. But yeah, to go anywhere in the house, you have to go upstairs. And I, I don't like that. I want to come into my house. <laughs> you know, I don't want to... I don't walk in with a bunch of groceries and then have to go straight upstairs. Don't like it, but again, you know, uh, it's completely moving ready and it might work for you. That's another thing. But yeah, the kitchen looks insanely pretty. Uh, looks like a, I love this little deck out here. Very peaceful, love the tree right there. Bathroom is insanely nice, insane, okay? Really nice. Again, completely moving ready. You get a little tiny little yard right here. Um, you know, this is, it's okay. You know, maybe you could put your garbage cans out here so they don't smell out, smell up your, uh, your, what's it called? Your, uh, your garage. But no, this house is nice. It's not for me, right? If I had the budget, uh, and I was buying Houston, I mean, I, I don't like this. I don't like the vertical living like this, you know, uh, especially in Houston. If I'm in New York, California, and this is all that's available, sure. Because there's a limited amount of space. But yeah, let's see what else we can find. Let's see if there's any other price cuts. You know, usually in the nicest parts of town, you just don't see that many price cuts. Guys, uh, okay, 
I, okay, I gotta just check this out. This house looks insane. This no price cut here, uh, but I just this looks this looks insane. This looks this house. Okay, one point three million bucks, three bedroom, three bath, three thousand square foot, nice size house. Now, guys, I, I only usually like to point out the price cuts, but I looked at this house, this front of this house, and I'm just like, yeah, please, I I wanna live here. You know what's something nice? You see this like window right here? Uh, during Christmas, you could put a nice Christmas tree right here so all your neighbors can see. Oh man, the door, I freaking love, love this house, man. It's big, it's 3,000 square foot. Look, there's a pool back there. Oh, that's that. Oh, okay. So there's that window. It's actually a bedroom. Mm, I don't like that that much. It's three bedroom, two bathroom. Not totally liking that. You know, I don't know. I like the bedrooms to face like the inside of the house a little bit. Uh, backyard is dropped it gorgeous. Get a lot of land. All right. So I kind of deviated, guys, because I just, I absolutely love this house. 1.2 million bucks. Um, wow, insane. So, okay, but let's get back to the price cuts. Here's $20,000 off 395. Again, another condo, 22,000 uh, square foot, not that small. You come in through the side right here. This is probably the door to the garage. Um, don't like the stairs right when you walk in. So when you walk in though, there's more stairs. You could see like this is probably the front door coming up. Don't like that. The um, It's three bedroom, three baths. So the bedrooms are gonna be somewhat big. Um, but don't like this house, but I do like that there is a price cut. Uh, it looks like it's in a, around a near, uh, like near cool area, which, you know, obviously makes it more desirable, but no, don't like this house at all. And it's 400,000, not really feeling it. Uh, more condos. I don't want to see condos. You know why there's so many condos? Because you're close to that city center where there's, you know, less land available, right? So you're going to see less houses. You're going to see houses definitely going for a lot more than condos. Look at this. This is a nice house. There's two nice houses, but I this one caught my eye. 25000 off, $940,000. So they had it, you know, like 965, 2300 square foot, big house, three bedroom, two bath. So, well, you know, not huge house, 2000 square, 2300. It's not huge, but it's definitely on the bigger side. You get a big building back there, so that tells you that you're literally in the middle of the city. Uh, somewhat pretty, pretty cool. The, fr the front is beautiful. Uh, I love this porch area. Backyard is insane. Dude, this house is insane. Oh, my God. The kitchen. My God. And look, you're in a really centralized part of town. See, now, when you look at this house, right, and you look at the other ones, uh, you know, it's like some of the other million dollar properties and you look at something like this. It's like, yeah, I want to live here. Could you imagine coming home to this? This is insane. Beautiful little backyard with its own private casitas back there. Basically comes with a dog, uh, dog house here. It looks really nice too. This is really, really nice. Looks like it's close to some really cool places. Look at that. You know, it's a you have a bike path right outside your house. This is insanely nice. They are motivated. Now, obviously, they're not going to come down too much. It's a million bucks. They're not going to come down to 600000 But if you love this house, if you had the budget, you could negotiate. Man, get them down for eight, you know, offer eight ninety nine. See where they come back. You know, push them to drop 40000 Again, it's a negotiation, guys. You don't know what their status is. So, you know, I mean, it would definitely be hard to walk away from this house, you know, over, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. But, I mean, look at that kitchen. It's beautiful. The floors are insane. Wow. Okay. So, let's see what... This is another one that I found. These guys, not that motivated. They only are shaving off $6,000. They're trying to sell it for uh, six, uh, six, seven sixty. So, they probably had around seven sixty-five. dollars 65 2,200 square foot, kind of nice, kind of big, three bedroom, two bath, uh, front looks beautiful, neighborhood looks beautiful, I could just tell by the grass that this is a nice neighborhood, no sidewalk, no sidewalk, don't like that, you know, like if you've seen my uh, other videos, I am a sidewalk guy, all right, I like a sidewalk, and let me tell you, not just a sidewalk, but I like 
grass on both sides of the sidewalk. Like, I don't, or, or at least, like, um, I, yeah, I definitely like that separation. I don't, I don't like the sidewalks that uh, are just, like, right next to the curb. I like a little bit of grass. I know, I'm being very picky. You'll see it in older neighborhoods. Newer neighborhoods, they, they don't do that because they're trying to maximize space. The inside of this house is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Absolutely stunning. This right here is absolutely stunning. Those floors, they did an incredible job here, guys. This kitchen is insane. Insane. I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. I would love to hear, live here. Look at that backsplash. Love the brick. Love this house. Uh, what did I say? 2,200 square foot. This house is perfect. Uh, you know, under 800,000, 759. How much is the, okay, they only went down 6,000. They're not that motivated. They know that they have a great house with a great price in a really nice neighborhood. Backyard is absolutely beautiful. Love this house. Really love whoever designed it, did a great job. Um, you know, this is the problem. You, you, if you had the budget, you walk in here and you fall in love and you make an offer, you know? That's why they say, you know, it's a, it's an emotional decision. Here's $10,000 off 335. So, you know what? We're definitely seeing a lot of price cuts here unlike other places like in uh, in Orange County. I made another video about it. In California, we saw very little price cuts. On the opposite is in Houston. We're seeing definitely a lot of price cuts. Here's $30,000 off a $599. These guys are motivated. 2,100 square foot. That's a nice, nice house. Three bedroom, two bath. This house looks really, really nice. Shows really, really nice. Really like the front. Looks like a really nice neighborhood. Um, don't like the different types of floors. Don't like this um, this nub right here. You see this? Uh, you know, people can trip. Uh, I would have extended the wood floors all the way through. Uh, they did that for a reason. Maybe, you know, tile at the front is probably, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of people, this is a high traffic area. They don't, probably didn't want to ruin the wood floors. These look like expensive wood floors. Wood floors are expensive, guys. That's why there's a little, you know, that's why they have a rug right there to protect them. Um, but yeah, they do have tile. Looks like they only have wood floors in the living room. I actually like floors to go all the way through the whole house, um, not into this. And I don't like, what is this called? Like this separator. It's not a bull nose, but whatever it is. I don't like this, actually. I like the kitchen. Kitchen is nice, but don't like this house. Again, but these guys are motivated. How much should I say? 30000 off, uh, and they have it at $599,000, 600000 so if you love this house, I'm not feeling this house. It definitely has everything going on with it. It's a nice area. It's got a little casitas in the back, or maybe that's a garage. It's really, yeah, it is the garage. It is, it's a two-car garage. It's awesome. It's nice. No sidewalks, though. Again, I, I, hate, to, I hate to be that guy. It's like, oh, no sidewalks. I'm a sidewalks guy. You know, I like to walk, right? Uh, close to the downtown, definitely look, there's a fire right here. Look at that. That's interesting. I uh, probably want to Photoshop that out. Uh, but yeah, close to downtown, but you know, not for me. This is why you got to do the research guys. So just on the first page, we definitely saw a lot of price cuts. Um, look at this. This is a nice house. So let me find a really expensive house to end the video with. Let's see what is the most you can get in this zip code. Uh, here's eight ninety nine. Yeah, that's nice. Here's eight hundred thousand. Uh, let's look for something really expensive. Ooh, one point five million bucks. Let's see one point six. Okay, so these guys motivated. You know, uh, well, not that motivated. They shaved off fifty thousand dollars. They had it at 1.6, now they have it at 1.55. It is a nice size house, 3,000 square foot, three bedroom, four bath. This house, you know, the front of it, it's insanely beautiful. I could tell you that right now. Um, definitely very, very nice. It comes with like its own separate house, sort of. Huh? I love it. Absolutely love this property. What is going on here? So you look like you have a driveway. 
you're in a very nice neighborhood. There you go. I love the sidewalks. So it looks like, look, this is big enough to park an RV. And then it looks like you have a separate house. Let's keep looking. I absolutely love this house. 1.5 million. And it looks like you're definitely getting a lot. Completely move-in ready. This is luxury living. Here's the other apartment right here. You could see it. So maybe, you, oh, it's a two. It's like two apartments. Very interesting. Let's keep going. Let's see what that's all about. Here it is. So it is a detached two units right here. You could probably rent them out. Uh, Airbnb them. Very cool, you know. So, you know, with this, it helps you pay the mortgage. Um, and if, you know, having some tenants. And so it's never a bad thing, you know, especially when they're in the property. You can make sure that, you know, you get good guys. And look, it's beautiful. The This looks like this is one of the, the bedrooms. Uh, I mean, just the, the, wow, it's insane. This house is insane. $1.6 million. They definitely look motivated. It's moving ready for sure. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it, love it, love it. 1.6 guys, 1.55, but very, very nice in a very nice part of town. Here's another price cut. You know, wow, here's $50,000 off on a $1 million house. This house is beautiful. My God, look at that. Look at those windows. Let me tell you, those windows alone are $50,000. And they, these guys have a $50,000 price cut. Look at that wall, guys. I love this house. A million bucks. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Okay, so it, it's, a, it's in an apartment complex. Uh, hey, you know what? Well, now that I think about it, a million bucks to live in an apartment complex. I thought it was going to be a house. Uh, but they do have $50,000 off. I wonder if this is it right here. You get all this, or maybe it's just one floor. I don't know. You have to come in here and tour the property. It looks like it's there's no stairs. Looks looks like it's a single story. Uh, this place is insane, too. A million bucks. Uh, I bet you it's a high HOA, though. Let's see. HOA. Ah, there you go. $1,000 a month HOA. Yeah, you get a lot here. Um, but this is definitely luxury, luxury living. It's probably near a really nice area. $1,000 a month HOA definitely is a lot of money, guys. But the property is a million bucks. So, you know, you would expect high HOA in places like this. Guys, I love this zip code. I hope that the person that, um, what was his name? Uh, Revocate Aminos. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Now, if you, you know, actually, for people who have been subscribing to my channel, I just want to say a huge special, a special thank you. Uh, it really does mean a lot to me. You guys are watching my videos you guys are commenting you guys are liking my videos and it's awesome if you're new to my channel and you like my videos you like what i have to say please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment again thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you on the next video